Robert is in Indiana. Hey, Robert, welcome to the Entree Leadership Podcast. Hey, Dave. Thanks for having me on. Sure. Um, so I, I work for a commercial general contractor. We did about $3.5 million in revenue last year. And we're a little late in the game, but we're working on our succession plan right now. So my boss wants to retire in two to three years. And there's uh, another carpenter and myself. We're both late 30s. Uh, and we're planning to take over the company. So we were originally talking about doing a 50-50 partnership, uh, joint ownership, but we're seeing the the pitfalls in that. And uh, I was just looking for some advice on how we can set up some sort of partnership, avoid the difficulties with you know death and disability and those things. And then also within that, figure out uh, just compensation for the two of us, if one of us is the actual owner and the other's highly paid employee. Mm. Okay. That's what I have. Yeah. I'm the owner and we have operating board members who, um, there are 14 of them now, including family that are all paid off of the bottom line. They make a percentage of the profits as if they were an owner and that's their entire income. And they get paid very, very well. Off mm-hmm. that bottom line, as long as the bottom line's good, there and right and has been all along. So, um, you easily could put in place today a thing where you know you share the P and L with him. If you're the owner, or if other way around doesn't matter, but if you become yeah. the owner and he's the highly compensated employee, he would be, uh, you know, uh, paid off the bottom line as if he were a partner. And, um, you could, you know, make that whatever percentage of the bottom line you wanted it to be. Um, and you know, then you just lay out the, the, you know, the, the, the promises that you want to make to him that he gets to stay there, uh, and under what circumstances he doesn't get to stay there. Mm-hmm. And so, um, you know, but you're the owner. I mean, anything with two heads is a monster. So you're the owner, and then he gets paid 40% of the net profits um, for this next period of time. Uh, if you're putting money into this uh, and he's not, then, you know, it wouldn't be that much. It wouldn't be 40%. But <clears throat> but if uh, – so you can make it whatever percentage you want. Or you could say your pay is going to be X plus a percentage of – the net profits and you're participating in the bottom line of the company as if you were a partner in the LLC. Um, uh, and, but, but no actual ownership. And so I've had operating board, uh, since 2012 and I've had operating board members leave. Uh, I've had operating board members that we let go, uh, because they weren't able to, uh, do their job for one reason or another. Uh, they could, they, you know, the, the business evolved and they couldn't take care of that area anymore. It was heartbreaking, heart rending. Uh, but the, um, but, but we still went through it and I was really glad that they didn't own part of this place when they were no longer able to adequately operate an area of the business anymore to earn their port to, you know, earn their keep, so to speak. So let's say this thing grows from three million to thirty million, and he's still doing only what he's doing today. In terms of his daily work, yeah, then he wouldn't be due the same percentage that he's due today. Does that make sense? Yeah, that does. Um, if, however, he grows and he is running half of the organization, you're running the other half of the organization, or roughly. Well, yeah. you know, why, and it go, grows to 30 million, then you should be willing to share that with him. Yeah. And, and so, uh, one thing like I, you know, part of one of the things I was thinking about is, and it probably would be me owning last, we had a conversation about, it. uh, so, you know, as long as the company doesn't have any debt and, you know, we set it up so we're protected, uh, you know, from, lawsuits and stuff like that. My, you know, my personal assets, uh, is, is there, I'm I'm just trying to think of like, what is the greater risk that the owner would be taking on? And then, you know, how would that translate into, you know, just compensation within that? Does does that question make sense? Yeah, it does. I, I, um, you're, you're taking on the entire burden of the thing. 
and mm-hmm. and he's taking he's going to carry part of the weight with you, and so it's whatever you come up with. Um, the thing I would do is I, I'd be very very clear that we're going to communicate regularly about this because when I first set this up, I thought it was going to be in stone and it'd be that way forever, and a, and we've changed it almost every year. Mm-hmm. You know it's crazy. And so I had, I had board members that were paid four different amounts based on when they came on the board. Some of them have been on the board for a while. Some of them have been on the board, you know, a year or two. Some of them have been on the board 10 years. Well, the ones that have been on 10 years were at a much greater percentage. And then over time, they really weren't carrying a greater percentage of the weight. They had only just been here longer. And so yeah. as a group, the whole board sat and talked and said they didn't think that was fair. And so we've evened it out over time. But when I started it, I didn't think that's how it was going to work. Mm-hmm. So, you know, leave yourself some room in the conversation for the percentages to change as things go along. Today, if it's, you know, 30 or 40 percent, that doesn't scare me unless you feel like it has to stay there when he's not carrying 30 or 40% of the load anymore. And that would be a mistake. Yeah, sure. It sounds like you guys think you're going to carry the weight about 50, 50 today of the operations. Yeah. And, and that's, that's basically what we have been talking about. So just, you know, in relation to kind of what each of us have a knack for and more experience, uh, I'd probably start off doing most of the office side of things and he'd do most of the, uh, you know, job site management and yeah. employee training and things like that. Exactly. Uh, so, so it really, I mean, I think probably on both sides, I don't think either of us could do it by ourselves. You'd so, need, you need each yeah. other today. Bad. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. I mean, someday if, um, again, if this thing grows 10 X, you might have four people doing what he's doing. Yeah. And he might be leading all four of those, in which case he's still carrying a similar percentage of the weight, right? Mm-hmm. But yeah. if he if he becomes one of those and you have to hire somebody to run all four of the others, then uh, you know, then you don't want to be stuck with that for sure. So yeah. I, it's just, you know, we're constantly going to relook at this and rethink it and um uh but but the only thing you're from from experience, the only thing you're guaranteed is change. <laughs> so just prepare the conversation, prepare your hearts for that, because that's been hard for me because I felt like when we went in and changed some of these things based on new realities, that I had been disloyal to the people that had, that had, you know, disloyal to, you dance with a girl that brought you to the dance. You don't go all, you know, that's, I felt like I had been disloyal to the people that were there before when we brought these new people on, but the, but the situation was different. And so, but the good news is we had a very mature group of people that would sit and argue through it together and not be selfish, but instead say, what's the right thing. And we changed the percentages and, uh, man, just have yourself ready to do that. And it'll help you because otherwise you'll be what I, you'll do what I did and really strain and your heart will hurt too much. Uh, when you actually do need to pull that off. So, yeah, just, but I think you're onto something. I think you're onto the way to pull it off. And, and um, just don't lock yourself into 44% for the rest of your life or whatever, 34% or whatever you come up with. It, it's, that's what it is now based on the way the company's configured today. As the configuration changes, you and I will sit and talk about it. And then we'll make a decision together that's fair and right based on the new configurations.